The Furry Shop Manager and I welcome you back to the channel. I am way behind on product reviews. This is just a fraction of it. And uh, that's been all hands on deck with the shop this year. Crazy busy. So let's try and catch up. I have yet to touch upon the Armor detailing product line. Auto Finesse. Some more from Vonix. More from the 3D GLW series. We have the new version, the 3.0 version, the MJJC here on the channel, and a new product line to the channel, the Bola Solutions series, which playing with it really reminds me a lot of tax systems, both from Korea. I could tell you I have an elaborate plan for a video on Bola, but I don't, so let's just jump right into it and take a look at these, then we'll pick one out and close in on it and see how it works. I do have a few on hand from Bola Solutions, the leather coating, the STD Evo and Max Shield, which are all three quartz coatings, and they have a few more as well. And from what I remember, Tax Systems was also quartz. Uh, I could be wrong, as usual. Um, graphene spray coating. The P17 and P17S are ceramic spray sealants, and one, the S, is for extra slickness. The glass cleaner, a tar adhesive remover, more leather care, a wheel cleaner, a car shampoo, an iron remover, and different types of panel preps. Intriguing to me besides the coatings is the P35, which is the paint work cleanser, and that seems to be a strip wash, and that is in great preparation of uh, coating. If you want to strip off old waxes, sealants, water-based coatings, and also the P45, which is a panel prep, and that will remove old waxes, sealants, and also polish oils. So we're going to give those a go as well. Doing a little research, I have found that some of the coatings contain SiO2, SiC, TiO2, PHPS, and graphene. And once again, the company rolled out in 2019 is from the Republic of Korea. I was confused a bit about these two at first. They are both ceramic spray sealants. One just has a little bit more slickness than the other. And then finally, we have the pre-treatment for coating, and then also the tire maximizer, which is a uh, matte finish for tires and rubber and that one we're going to play with first so let's set it aside let's pop the cap remove the seal and you can either put in a trigger or pump sprayer as thick as this is gel like uh, i'm going to put in the pump sprayer now this is a clear viscous like substance uh, rather than a creamy sealant that you would see so let's get the pump in there and give it a go. This is not infused with SiO2 or graphene. This is a silicone tire dressing. We have a set of rather new tires here. They already are cleaned. Let's get the dressing on here and uh, I like the new look, the new rubber look, with not a whole lot of sheen. And I know that varies, so I'm going to apply to these tires, and then we'll break a tire out of the pile out back, and we'll apply it to that with a thicker sidewall so you can see just a little bit better. 
easy on and if you want to follow up with a microfiber to dab it up and kick it back a little bit you can the more layers you put on the more glossy it gets So this is what it will look like upon the first few seconds of application and as it cures it will lighten up a bit and it'll give you a nice satin stealthy finish. In the meantime, while we wait for it to dwell a little bit and cure, we'll break out an old tire from out back. Again, a thicker sidewall so you can see a little bit better. Let me apply it to half of the tire and give you an idea of what it looks like. A little bit goes a long way, easy to spread out on the rubber. When it comes to durability, just being a standard tire dressing, you're looking at uh, a wash or two or maybe a rainstorm or two or without that maybe a week or two at most not a bad look and not a bad way to kick off the bola solution series if you want to see more let me know let me know what you want to see from the solution series and we'll get to it brian from apex detail it was a pleasure to spend another afternoon with you guys for a few minutes if you're not subscribed hit that button maybe the notification bell and comment down below catch you later